Hey, what's up guys? Cam from Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Lots of news to go over today. Something big was just found. I know I've been saying that, but it, it, it's coming up to season two. So I kind of say that every video because it does happen every video. Uh, thanks for the likes on the last video. I, I, didn't, I didn't set a challenge. I just said go for it. And another 18,000 likes. So I'm just, can we match it? Can we match it? You don't even have to beat it. Just right on the dot 18,000. If you see it there, stop. Don't like the video. I'm kidding. Please like the video anyway. Uh, of course, stick around for the entire thing. YouTube video or YouTube algorithm loves when people watch the entire video and code the camp and rusher. The new season's out in what, six, six days. And I know you're going to be buying that battle pass. So uh, yeah, I'm putting it in your head early. Type that code in. Even if it's open right now, your Fortnite game's open right now. It does reset every two weeks. Let's jump into it first. Let's talk about the things that didn't happen today. <laughs> first is the, this, uh, the gold props, right? Uh, we've talked about this uh, multiple videos now and I cannot believe things have not like there's five stages the middle island is supposed to start having certain props and pieces of furniture turn gold and uh, it's in like it's it's legit it's a legit leak it's gonna happen uh, but it's not happening yet so now at this point maybe it's happening I, I don't know maybe it's happening in the new season there's there's five different stages so maybe it, maybe it'll start tomorrow and it'll just be every day it'll keep upgrading so we'll we'll see tomorrow i just i just thought it would start today but uh i'll keep you updated on that and yes no no free battle pass announcement there was a a weird battle pass kind not very like battle pass free v buck announcement that they made we'll, we'll get to it a bit later but uh I don't know. It's kind of a, a redundant tweet. But first, that new Candyman skin. It's uh, it was in the item shop yesterday, and uh, it actually has a very cool cool feature. If you didn't know, it's reactive, and the head spins when you get a kill. So I'm gonna play you this quick clip. It's a little it's a little creepy, but it's cool. I think it adds to the skin a lot. Sorry, there's no audio. You can't get audio on uh, on Reddit clips, but it's like it's like he congratulates you for getting a kill. Eh? He turns his head around 180 degrees, or just with a big old smile on his face. So I don't know. I I don't know if that uh, uh, adds to the skin for you or not, but it makes me want to go buy the skin now, uh, which I might do. We'll see. And moving on, just a reminder to to you guys on PlayStation that one million dollar prize pool tournament is uh, this weekend, February fifteenth and sixteenth, and uh, we we made a video on it already. One day is for the free prizes, and one day is for the cash prizes. So uh, and yeah, it's only PlayStation players. There's a lot of money to be won considering it's only PlayStation. So uh, yeah, if it, you might as well give it a shot. It, it looks like fun, and I think I, I forget what it was. I, I told the stats, but top five percent maybe for that skin. So not an easy top five or ten. I can't remember. Not easy to do, but uh, but possible. So yeah, I'm sure Semi out there will pull it off. Okay, moving on. This one came out yesterday. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. By the way, jeez, how, how rude of how rude of me not to say that at the start of the video. Uh, no, I, uh, I went out and, and picked the lady out some flowers earlier today and uh, she's coming over to cook some cook some food tonight. So the least I could do is, is, is to get some flowers and we're going for a walk. <laughs> what a pleasant what a pleasant Valentine's Day. Okay, there's a little bit a little bit of a look into my life. Uh, moving on here, like I said, this came out yesterday. The from Fire Monkey, the background image for the Fortnite Esports page goes under the following name. Fortnite Esports Chapter 2 Season 2. Not only this, but with the addition of Fortnite trios later on this season, it makes me think that season two will be focused on trios when it comes to competitive. And uh, what are your thoughts on this? If this is true, Fire Monkey is usually right, probably out of anyone I I trust. Uh, not not just him, but he's uh, let's say in that top tier of trustworthy, credible leakers. Just usually uh, hits hits the nail right on the head. Is that a proper saying? I don't know if that's the right saying, but you know what I mean. And yeah, I, I think I'd be, I, I, I'd be hyped about trios. Actually, I'd be hyped that trios is what I want. Trios is the, I, I had to think about that for a sec, but we got duos, we got squads, we got to play, we got to try it out. Trios is just that perfect in between. Uh, duos is still great too. Squads was a little crazy. 
uh but also fun they're all they're all fun in, in different ways okay let's talk about the tweet that fortnite made earlier today because everyone is freaking out it, it looked like free v bucks and they they word it like it's it's free but here's the tweet fortnite uh, sent out four hours ago over level 100 and haven't bought the chapter 2 season 1 battle pass upgrade today and get all of the awesome rewards and 1200 v bucks back instantly i actually had to read over it like 10 times and then fire monkey gives a, an explanation here and i had to read that over to, i don't know why i was so confused but a lot of other people were then as well fire monkey said for those who don't understand the 1200 v bucks back refer to how many v bucks you get with the battle pass minus the free pass v bucks if you buy it after hitting tier 100 so it took me a while so you but you you don't own the battle pass you but you've already made it to level 100 uh, which is possible because of all the extra uh, XP this season. And so then they're just saying if you go and buy now, uh, if you buy the Battle Pass now, you're already going to have the 100 tiers because you are level 100 and you'll get all the, the, the rewards, including the 1200 V-Bucks uh, back instantly right it's just i don't know it's a weird it's a weird thing i mean they're really just reminding people who haven't uh got the battle pass yet to go and get the battle pass especially if you're already level 100 which i think a lot of people are uh which was the purpose of this tweet so confusing not free v bucks uh i mean i guess for, it's just like it's just any other battle pass v bucks just worded in a different way moving on here to the the big news today i think the unique news today and something we haven't talked about, but some potential season two POI map changes here. It started with uh, with this post today. The map in the top of the lighthouse has several POIs and references in it. Uh, he references a a post yesterday where there was a save the world map that was found, and there was a battle royale map reference in it. And uh, and I'm gonna go. We'll talk about that in a second. But that same map that was in Save the World is also in the top of the lighthouse in the Battle Royale world, and it references four POIs that I have overlaid on the Chapter Two map, as well as more vague treasure map looking things. I searched long and hard in the white teardrop shape that I overlaid, but could not find anything exciting. So let me do some pictures here to to show you what he means. So this is the picture that is in. Uh, the lighthouse all right this is the the map or the uh, like the prop let's call it and this of course is the chapter 2 map and then there that so from that image he's rotated it correctly and overlaid it over top of the the chapter 2 map so there it is for you and you can see everything lines up perfectly although that teardrop is is definitely out of place right something Something should be there, it seems, and, and, and that's kind of what the, the theory is here. But let's move it, uh, let's do one more thing here, because this one here is the, the four lighthouse POIs overlaid on the Chapter 2 map. So that's the other interesting part, and again, you can't make out the writing on the, on the sign, so you don't know what it says. So we don't know exactly what any of this means. The teardrop could be some big map change, uh, POI change for the new season, and then these four uh spots i guess indicated with kind of like the dark gray on that on this last map that i showed you uh it, again i it's more uh, up to uh interpretation from you guys what, what you want to think about it uh because i have no idea are these going to be four four of the spots that are hit plus the teardrop change i don't know maybe those because i i don't think we can expect a ton of map changes next season but uh, four or five would be in the in the ballpark a, a couple POI changes steamy stacks we think is getting destroyed and then other than that I wouldn't expect too much I, I'm expecting more uh, items vehicles those type of changes uh, going into the new season so I don't know let me know what you think about that and then here just to let you know because this is kind of important too the this is the the map or the the image that or the prop let's call it again that was found and saved the world so uh, we know, of course, that, that that same image there, that represents the top uh, left part of the current map. And uh, I guess the point here is we may finally be getting a Fortnite Save the World times Battle Royale crossover. Everyone's getting hyped for it in the comment section below. Um, because, yeah, we, we thought this was happening so long ago. Is it just another tease and uh, we'll be left uh, left sad once again? I, I don't know. Hopefully not, man. I, I'd love to, because I don't know much about Save the World. So I think this would just be an interesting way to get uh, us Battle Royale guys interested in that. 
and uh, and vice versa, of course. So let me know what you think about everything we discussed today. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around for the entire video. You guys help these videos do well. Uh, and, yeah, it means a lot. Touch that like button on your way out. Code the camp and rusher. Take care. Talk soon.